All right, so hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Phantom Forces is getting so much crazy stuff. We're getting character customization. They added aimbot to the game for some reason. Lots of new zombie stuff, a crafting system. There's just so much stuff to talk about today. So please watch until the end because basically everything I'm going through in this video is massive. Like they're completely changing so much about this game recently. Only a small portion of the people watching my videos are subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed. But yeah, first thing is that we actually got two new game modes for a very short period of time. If you're playing over the last couple of days you remember at least the I think it was the recovery one there was one where you carry a briefcase and you get points by holding it only one person on either team can have the briefcase and it's basically like protect one guy it was a really fun game mode they added it to the main game and then they removed it again hopefully they're gonna add it back though because i actually really thought that game mode was quite fun the other one you have to destroy a briefcase and unfortunately that one didn't seem to be playable even though it was technically playable i think it was because they didn't select it to be playable on any of the maps hopefully they're gonna come back though but yeah let's get into the other cool stuff first off as you can see this is the ak-12 and it's that new model from my last video and that means yes this is the new ak-12 there's no more tests and they've actually buffed the weapon as well it now has increased minimum damage and a much further minimum damage range from 130 studs to 160 studs. This basically makes the weapon a lot more consistent over long ranges, which is nice. It has a little bit better damage over long range, and it takes a little bit longer for it to lose all of its damage. And as you can see, look at those skin zones. That is so nice to have like a skin zone on the fire mode switch, which is really, really cool. And also, we need to talk... Wow, that is really nice recoil on the burst. They also buffed the bars barrel on this weapon. It now no longer decreases your damage or your range, and it also doesn't change your muzzle velocity, but it gives you a really, really easy to burst weapon. Like, you can get the full burst speed from it. I'm not really sure what this is really doing much of though. Kind of feels like you may as well just use the normal burst. I guess the recoil is better and it does give you better headshot multi. But it kind of just feels like you're going all in on the burst and it's not really changing that much of the weapon anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess the recoil is quite good. Next up, we have some zombies leaks, which are very cool. Basically, there is mobile support coming to regular PF as well as the PF zombies mode. The PF zombies mode is now confirmed to have its own progression, and it's going to be in a different game. Not going to be accessible from normal PF, but, you know, you can just go on Roblox and play it. I think that's very, very cool. I didn't want it to be, like, really in the same menus as regular PF. Holy, this map runs like garbage. And also, of course, that's where the aimbot came from for Phantom Forces, which we'll talk about in just a bit, but... There was kind of aimbot in the game for a bit, and it's still in the game, but I, we got to talk about it. It's really weird. There's also crafting coming to the game, and if you're wondering what I mean by crafting, I don't know either, but it's going to be in zombies. You're going to be able to craft weapons. Not sure if that's adding attachments or putting together two similar guns to get something else or getting like modified versions of weapons or something like that. I have no idea, and that's going to be really interesting. There's also wall buys in PF Zombies, which is just like Call of Duty Zombies. If you didn't know, you can spend points to buy weapons off of the walls. So weapons you buy off the wall are not usually as good as the mystery box, but you can buy more ammo for them a lot easier. And I'm not sure how everything like that is going to work. I don't think it's going to be exactly like Call of Duty Zombies, but I guess we'll have to see. That's also where we saw customizable arm sleeves. Yes, hopefully not a customizable full character. I like how this game doesn't have a lot of really dumb characters and it's just, you know, the orange guys are the bad guys and the blue guys are your teammates or the other way around, you know, it makes the game a lot more readable. It makes it a lot more funny that everybody's got the exact same stuff on, you know, Everybody's got the funny smiley face. I really hope they don't get rid of that. Because that's kind of like the entire identity of this game when it comes to people that you see. It's just the funny PF characters. Everybody knows them. And if they get rid of them, I'd be really, really sad. And also, I do not want to have it be like bad business where everybody's got the most cringe items ever, man. But also from the mobile thing, there is aim assist coming to controller and mobile. And when they first added it, it was actually enabled for people on mouse and keyboard. Fortunately, it wasn't enabled for very long, so I didn't really get to play around with it. But yeah, they had aimbot for everybody. And if you plug in a controller on the test place right now, you should get free aim assist, which I guess is cool. You also get lowered recoil. So maybe controller is going to start being really good. I'm hoping it's not going to be. I don't like when aim assist is super oppressive in games. There are certain games where people literally plug in a controller on a PC just to get an advantage because aim assist is that good. Yeah, we'll have to see. Hopefully it's not going to be as bad as it is in some games because in some games it is so bad. Next up, the M60 actually got a squad barrel, which is pretty nice. That's just going to give you a little bit worse handling 
but better overall range, velocity, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use that because uh, yeah, this gun is already very slow, but we'll see, I guess. Next up, party servers are coming to Phantom Forces. I've been talking about this for a long time. I really hope we get more game modes on the party servers because right now it might just be secondaries only, melees only, and like gun game, and maybe one other. I really hope we end up with a bunch of different game modes, like a low gravity game mode, stuff like that, because yeah, I don't want it to be such a small selection. I think the stab one should definitely be one of the more rare ones because I don't want to play that every single round, you know? If we get melee only a ton, I don't know how much I'm going to play that because yeah, I don't want to play too much melee only. It is fun to play occasionally, but yeah, we need more game modes because they are very fun if you do them occasionally. Both of my shots just went completely through that guy. Anyway, on to the new weapons. First off, they are going to be adding a brand new sniper rifle called the Fix. This is going to be a highly customizable sniper rifle. It's going to be a bolt action. And it seems like it'll be pretty good. Not going to lie. It'll have a bunch of different conversions. Hopefully, unlike the FT-300, those conversions are going to be interesting and do different stuff. And people are actually going to want to like go through and use them. Another new weapon is the Mini Fix, which is a carbine version of the Fix. I don't know if this is going to be auto, but it looks like it's going to have three under blackout it probably will have other ammo types as well and it has a bolt on the side but i'm assuming that it's not going to be a bolt action carbine that would be crazy it would be cool to have a much faster bolt action in the carbine section that would be cool maybe just a really fun sniper rifle to run on like containers or something that would be cool i'm also really hoping that they buff the other snipers like the model 700 this gun sucks the next gun they're adding is the ruger 1022 i'm assuming it's going to be a pretty fast firing carbine that's basically a dmr i don't think this gun will be that good i don't think a lot of people People will use it because semi-automatic weapons are not very popular in this game i like the dmrs but like most people don't like them. i'm kind of excited for this one cautiously i don't know this lobby is like so dead for some reason i don't know okay next up we're getting a 50 bmg pistol that's gonna have a bunch of different ammo types i don't know why we're getting this i guess it could be cool but we have the sfg 50 and we already like one of the last pistols we got was a one-shot pistol and we already have this one-shot pistol and we also have the thumper all of these have different ammo types so it's not like any Thing game changing it's just another one shot pistol I have a lot of pistols with one bullet that can one shot oh my gosh okay, this is actually really cool the skybox is so nice does this even work it does work oh no it doesn't i wish they would add back launch tech and make that thing work as well i don't know why that's even still there they're not actually gonna make it work so sad man you can't even slide shot anymore you can't even launch tech yes they are still removing launch tech in this game so unfortunate man if you guys want me to make Phantom Forces mobile videos, like when that comes out, like the weapons that you should use on that, stuff like that, let me know because I believe that will have aim assist and lower recoil. So there will actually be some weapons that are not that good on PC that'll be really, really good on mobile. Like maybe the M231 will be great. I remember on console that thing was really good because it had lower recoil. But yeah, anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Comment your opinions on all of this stuff, but I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day.